The Volkswagen Tiggo is a stylish coupe SUV that doesn't compromise on practicality. If you're after a reasonably practical compact SUV, but also want something that reflects your smart, sophisticated side, then the Volkswagen Tiggo could be for you. Based on the more upright-looking T-Cross model, the Tiggo offers smoother lines and a lowered stance, but still comes with enough space and flexibility to appeal to family buyers. It's not particularly fun to drive, although it's certainly easy on the eye and this, combined with the typical VW traits of decent build quality, good levels of standard equipment and reasonable efficiency, mean that it will prove to be a convincing package for some. Coupe SUVs have often been criticized for being the epitome of how to make something less fit for purpose, but also more expensive to buy than the standard model on which they're based. Premium manufacturers such as Audi, BMW and Mercedes have applied this strategy to a raft of their own models and achieved decent sales success. Why? Well, the fickle finger of fashion has a lot to answer for. Not satisfied with your Audi Q5? Try the Q5 Sportback, it'll change your life. Upgrading your SUV to a version with a sloping roofline often means losing out on passenger space, boot capacity and overall practicality, but the stylish Volkswagen Tiggo manages to largely buck this trend. Offering more curb appeal than the sensible, solid T-Cross, with which it shares its mechanical makeup, the Tiggo crucially doesn't give up too much in the way of day-to-day -day usability. Yes, it's more expensive to buy, although you don't feel like you're being short-changed, as you might with some other models. It's 150 mm longer than the T-Cross, too, so there's ample cabin space, while boot capacity remains pretty generous. Volkswagen has elected to keep power fairly moderate for the Tiggo. A 1.0-liter, three-cylinder TSI petrol engine is available with either 94 bhp or 108 bhp, while a 1.5-liter TSI unit offers 148 bhp. The entry model is paired solely with a 5-speed manual gearbox, with the 108 bhp version, which is our recommended choice, using a 6-speed manual box, or the option of a 7-speed DSG automatic transmission. The top-of-the-range 148 bhp variant features the DSG Auto as standard. The trim level lineup is equally simple to follow, life, style, and R-line. While standard kit is fine, you'll benefit from upgrading to the style specification which offers extras such as bigger 17-inch alloy wheels, sport seats, integrated sat-nav and VW's 10.25-inch digital cockpit pro instrument display. Starting from around £23,500, the Tiggo is significantly cheaper than other stylish rivals such as the Toyota CHR and Renault Arcana, although the capable Kia X Seed is similarly priced along with the fun-to-drive Ford Puma. Buyers shouldn't be fooled into thinking that the stylish, sporty-looking Tiggo comes with extra performance credentials over its T-Cross sibling. There's no hot R model at the top of the range, with only 1.0 and 1.5-liter TSI petrol engines to choose from, the most powerful providing 148 bhp. Ultimately, this reflects the true character of VW's small coupe SUV, a leisurely, laid-back cruiser that brings a little bit more elegance to everyday driving. There's a focus on overall stability and comfort, although there's a little more road noise than we'd like and a fidgety ride at lower speeds. Most of the Tigo's life will arguably be spent in and around town and on urban commutes, so it perhaps seems odd that we'd recommend a model with a manual gearbox over the 7-speed DSG automatic transmission. We found the auto to be jerky when attempting to park, and also a bit hesitant when pulling away from junctions. So, not the greatest companion if you spend a lot of time navigating the hustle and bustle of busy streets. The Tigo is perfectly pleasant at motorway speeds, however, with the 108 bhp 1.0 liter engine responsive enough and the 148 bhp 1.5 liter unit offering an additional 50 newton meters of torque which helps make overtaking that bit easier. 0 to 62 miles per hour acceleration and top speed. The Tiggo lineup relies on a selection of Volkswagen's entry and mid-range TSI petrol engines to power the coupe SUV. The entry 94 bhp 1.0 liter version is capable of 0 to 62 miles per hour in a sluggish 11.1 seconds, although upgrading to the 108 bhp variant means the sprint time falls to 10.4 seconds in six-speed manual form. 
There's decent pace to be found in the 148 bhp 1.5 liter model, which manages 0 to 62 miles per hour in 8.3 seconds and a top speed of 132 miles per hour. You'll pay a little more for the stylish Taigo compared to its more conventional T-Cross sibling, with entry models for each range separated by around 1,000 pounds. Both use the same frugal TSI petrol engines, with the 108 bhp 1.0 liter, 6-speed manual, unit the most efficient in the lineup. It manages a claimed WLTP maximum of 52.3 mpg, which betters the 51.4 mpg of the 94 bhp 1.0 liter version, although both emit 123 grams per kilometer of CO2. Pairing the 108 bhp car with the DSG automatic transmission means fuel economy falls slightly to 47.9 mpg with CO2 emissions of 133 grams per kilometer. The 148 bhp 1.5 liter style model still offers decent day-to-day -day running costs. An average of 46.3 mpg means you should be able to travel around 480 miles on a single tank of fuel although CO2 figures are inevitably higher at 138 grams per kilometer. Insurance. The entry 94 bhp 1.0 liter life model should be relatively cheap to insure as it occupies group 13 out of 50. Upgrading to the 108 bhp life version sees a slight increase to group 14, while combining this more powerful engine with the mid-range style specification sees a further rise, to group 15 and 16 for the 6-speed manual and DSG automatic variants respectively. Opting for the 148 bhp 1.5-liter engine with either the style or sporty R-line trim means you'll pay the most for insurance, as both sit in group 22. Depreciation. Volkswagen cars tend to perform strongly across the used market, and the Tygo Coupe SUV is no exception. After a typical 3-year, 36,000-mile ownership period, our expert data suggests that it should retain around 53% of its original showroom value. In comparison, the VW T-Cross is an even better bet, holding on to 55-61% to of its list price after the same three-year period. The Tygo shares its underpinnings with the T-Cross small SUV, which means it's based on the MQB A0 architecture that also forms the base of cars such as the Polo Super Mini. Volkswagen has smoothed out the boxy lines of the T-Cross, however, to create a more stylish, coupe look for the Tygo. With a sloping roofline, lower bonnet and a 66mm reduction in height over the T-Cross, the Tygo will certainly look smart on the school run and has that extra curb appeal that is so important across UK suburban streets. But it's not all form over function. The Tygo is actually longer than the model it's based on, which helps keep interior space up to par. The cabin doesn't throw up too many surprises as the dash is lifted straight from the T-Cross, although there is the option to customize the look with a painted finish to match the car's body color. Softer materials are in use higher on the dash and door cards, with lower grade plastics evident lower down, while opting for a lighter interior trim color does help to lift the ambience. Standard kit is reasonable, although we'd recommend the mid-range style trim as the sweet spot in the range. One bugbear is VW's insistence on continuing with touch-sensitive climate controls which are simply a nuisance. They're positioned too low to be able to easily use while on the move, and a return to physical dials would be most welcome. Sat-nav, stereo and infotainment. The Tygo's Discover Media setup is a familiar one that's hard to find fault with. The main menu is neatly laid out with a selection of tiles, while the screen is flanked by a set of touch-sensitive shortcut keys and physical knobs for the volume and navigation zoom functions, so it's easy to find what you choose. VW's built-in navigation loads quickly enough, and a proximity sensor brings up certain functions when you move your hand toward the display, so the screen is uncluttered when you don't need them. Loading times are fine, although the screen lags behind slightly when swiping through the menus. The Tygo gets a digital driver's display, with an 8-inch setup used on the base model, and a 10.25-inch system for the style and R-line versions. Steering wheel buttons let you switch between views that prioritize either navigation, driver assistance or conventional-looking dials. Despite offering a style upgrade over its T-Cross sibling, the Tygo doesn't let itself down in terms of overall practicality. Interior space is good, 
while standard kit includes adaptive cruise control, automatic headlights, power folding heated mirrors, and a wireless smartphone charging function. Further up the range, you'll find additional features such as upgraded sports comfort seats, dual zone climate control, and integrated sat nav. A small grumble is that we didn't like the design of the two cup holders between the front seats. They're shaped hexagonally and struggle to hold anything more than a small coffee cup, although generally the Tygo's interior is ergonomically sound. Family buyers will be pleased to see isofix points in the front and rear passenger seats. They're easy to reach, with access made all the easier by the large rear door opening. Size the Tygo is 4,266 mm long and 1,757 mm wide, excluding mirrors which means it's a little longer than the T-Cross, although not quite as wide. Legroom, headroom and passenger space. Volkswagen has done a good job to ensure that the Tygo's sloping roofline doesn't impact headroom for rear passengers, while legroom is good throughout the cabin. Space up front is not dissimilar to the T-Cross which means it should be fine for most. Boot. At 440 liters, the Tygo's boot capacity is only 15 liters down on the T-Cross, although it's still well ahead of its Toyota CHR rival which offers a maximum load space of 377 liters. Adding to the Tygo's practicality is the large tailgate opening, low load lip and adjustable boot floor, while folding the rear seats unlocks a total of 1,222 liters. Towing. If you're prioritizing towing ability, then the 148 bhp 1.5 liter TSI is the engine to go for. It is rated to tow up to 1,200 kilograms, while the 108 bhp 1.0 liter limit is 1,100 kilograms, followed by the 94 bhp version with a maximum brake trailer load of 1,000 kilograms. Safety levels for the Tygo are among the best in its class, underpinned by the Coupe SUV's 5-star Euro NCAP crash test rating. It scored 94% for adult occupant safety and 84% for child passenger protection while the Tygo safety assist systems achieved 70%. All Tygo models feature adaptive cruise control, a driver fatigue alert, autonomous emergency braking, a sight assist function which monitors blind spots while driving and a travel assist system which offers a level of semi-autonomous driving using onboard, radar-based cameras. For those that find parking a chore, there's also park assist which helps with parallel or bay parking. The Tygo didn't appear in our 2022 Driver Power Customer Satisfaction Survey, although the T-Rock Compact SUV was voted into 34th position on a 75-car list. Other VW models such as the Tiguan midsize SUV and the Golf Hatchback featured lower down the order. Volkswagen itself achieved 18th spot out of 29 brands in the manufacturer ratings. Warranty a standard 3-year, 60,000-mile warranty for the Tygo is reasonable, but not as good as you'll find with rivals such as the Toyota CHR, which benefits from up to 10 years of cover. Servicing. Volkswagen offers various servicing plans for the Tygo to help spread the cost of scheduled maintenance. A standard plan, for cars under 1 year old, includes two consecutive services for an upfront payment of £386.16 or 24 monthly installments of 16 pounds and 9 pence. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe and turn on notification for more video.